What's going on Credit Kings and Queens? In today's video, we're gonna talk about their earning app. Is it good? Is it bad? Should you get it? Like welcome, welcome, welcome back. If you've been here before, welcome to if this is your first time here. My name is EJ and on this channel, you guys, you guys are following me on my journey to get my credit score to 800. And on the way, I'm giving you guys tips, tricks, and situations that I've been in, and I'm giving you guys ways you can help yourself with those. Um, I'm not a financial advisor by any means, by any means, but I am giving you guys help. If you may need it, you may take these tips or you may leave these tips. It's up to you. Um, but since you guys are here, man, could you guys do me a favor? Come to you guys, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell, and uh, make sure you guys get in the comment section so you guys can uh, get a little conversation going about any of these videos. I have a whole bunch of videos here. Check my playlist out, and uh, you guys, we, we're getting going because we, we're just getting started. So today. Earning app. Okay, so if you watch my Chase video here, <sighs> earning app is the reason why I lost my Chase account in the first place. Earning app is the reason why I was in check systems. Earning app is a great way to help you in an emergency situation, but it's also a way to start digging your own hole now I'm not slandering this company in any way shape or form I just want to let you guys know that from the jump I'm just giving you guys my experience with with earning up and what I think about it what I feel about it Earn up helped me all right I'm not gonna sit up here in front and that did help me when I was in the, like the downs of the downs I didn't have you know my money was short so I was like I need help and I got tired of taking payday loans I was still taking payday loans at the same time matter of fact and the earning app was a lifesaver in a way because it gave me the extra 40, 50 bucks, 60 bucks to help me you know get some gas and some food and stuff on the way while I wait for my next check. Now the earning app is a virtual payday advance to yourself. They connect to your bank account and they could connect to your your uh, your job. You take a loan, say for instance you get paid five hundred dollars every two weeks and you just took a hundred dollars from earning. So your next check is gonna be four hundred dollars. Now you see how that can hurt you, right? Because now you're short your next check, $100. So what do you have to do? You have to take another $100 from earning. And now you get you start the cycle. You start the cycle. Because before you know it, you're going to have to take more. You're going to have to take more. At one point, I was taking $400 from my checks each month. Yeah. The earning, <laughs> it helped me, but it hurt me. Now, my shit, my situation was extreme, like, cause I was driving literally. I was working like crazy, but I wasn't making any money at my other job. It was a sales job for Direct TV, and I was making no money. I was really going there, spending my money on gas, and not making anything from it. Cause it just, I was bored, first of all, and second of all, I was just really far away from where I was at. But that job was the reason why I got into this hole in the first place. Yeah, a job put me in a hole. I wasn't making any money. They had me going all, it was literally like, I was driving like two, 250 miles a day sometimes on this job. Like it was, it was insane. But anyway, <laughs> so I downloaded the internet app to help me offset the cost of you know, gas and food for, I still had bills to pay too. So I was, I was in a hole, man. So I, I, I downloaded this app to help me. And like I said, it did, but it was the reason why um, my, my chase account closed because I switched to get the money line credit bill to, uh, uh, loan that they have. So once I switched accounts to the money line account, their earning app still drew from my Chase account. And I didn't know they did like that. I thought it was gonna follow me to my, my money line account. So he overdrew my Chase account for like $700. If you watch the video, you'll see. Like, it was bad. So I there was no way at the time I could pay $700. So I just let that go out the window and I never, touch the earning app again it also helped me because once it stopped taking that money from me i was able to get my full bank account my checks again hello hey issue about your car's extended warranty since we have not gotten a response we are giving you a final courtesy call before processing yeah. to be removed and put on our do not call it i've pressed two so many times so many times and they still call 
like, I don't know if y'all getting these same things. Apparently y'all are, because I've seen a lot of videos of people talking about it. But anyway, I was able to get my full checks back and forth again. So it helped me out. I ain't had, you know, my full check in months now because of that. But my, well, so, bottom line is, don't you, if you do download the Earn app, I understand situations happen, so I'm not gonna say that. I would prefer the Possible Finance app over this one. Made a video about that. That would be your best bet. But if you have to use the Earn an app, do not take more than 60 bucks at a time. If you go over 60 bucks, you will begin to go down that hole, slowly but surely, okay? There's other options to make money instead of using these apps. But some people don't have these options, I get it. But if you have the option, if you're driving to work, you have an option to take use that same car to do Uber, Lyft, Instacart, DoorDash, all that stuff to make money on the side, you can do that. Now, you can you know do surveys from some of these places who give you gift cards. And you can use all your gift cards to get groceries and stuff like that. Like there's other ways to make money than using these apps. So if you don't have to and you have that. Well, I better die. I almost made the card a mistake of not recording. But yeah, that's my thoughts on it, man. I hope you guys learned something from this. Um, if you don't have to, don't do it. But in an emergency situation, don't go over 60 bucks. Possible Finance is a better app. But yeah, that's it, man. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys know when I drop my next video. Let's get to a thousand subs because I'm not there yet, but we're going to get there. Um, make sure you guys stay up. Get your credits go up. My name is EJ. This has been Eccentric Digital Media Production, possibly Eccentric Finance soon. We'll see. But until next time, I'm out.